March 17th is a somber anniversary because it's the date in 1942 when the Belzec extermination camp began operations. The Polish pronunciation is something like Berwetz. It is part of Operation Reinhardt, the Nazi attempt to exterminate the Jews of Poland. Now, you may be thinking, well, isn't the name Belsen? Belsen's a more familiar name, Bergen Belsen. It's one of the concentration camps. And there's a distinction here that I didn't really appreciate until I went to Israel and I visited Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Memorial. And I came to understand that often the more familiar names are the concentration camps, which were horrifying places. They were slave labor camps where people were worked to death under inhumane conditions deliberately, often to produce goods that were of no importance anyway. But people spent months in these places. and Dysentery was rife. They were malnourished. They were cold. It was horrible and deliberately so. But the extermination camps, places like Sobibor, names that should haunt our dreams, are a different matter because there, there was only one business, and that was death. At places like Belzec and Chelmno and Sobibor, life expectancy was under an hour. There were no dormitories. There were no eating facilities. When the Jews and others were sent there, they were told it was a transit camp because otherwise they would have rioted because they would have known what was happening. There were just a couple of buildings and you went into those buildings to be deloused and you died. And it's such a horrifying and sobering reflection on the nature of human beings, in part because the Holocaust is not a matter of people riding out of the wilderness and the raw meat under their saddles and hacking you to bits, acting like wolves, because essentially they've been living among them and like them. This is something that happened in the heart of the civilized world with the application of scientific technique, of mythology, of enormous logistical networks, of advanced chemistry, for the purpose of doing something that is mind-bogglingly evil, to try to wipe out an ethnicity and a religion entirely. As Hitler put it, there will be nothing left of the Jews in Europe but their cemeteries. And of course, the victims of these camps didn't even get burial places. They were, bodies were cremated and the ashes were dumped. It's absolutely chilling, and that's why it's so important that we not forget these places. Uh, we know names like Auschwitz. It was part concentration camp, part death camp, so there are a lot of survivors of Auschwitz to talk about it and what happened there. But we cannot forget those places. Again, names like Chelmno, uh, Majdanek, which was partly concentration camp, partly an extermination camp, Belzec, and others, whose names are largely forgotten because nobody came back. This is the evil of which humans are capable, not despite progress, but in some ways because of it. And there are many things to remember about March 17th, many of them a lot happier, of course, but we cannot forget those chillingly sobering anniversaries like the beginning of operations at Belzec. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.